Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018, PP18, here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by two chairs of committees. They are Samira Bilal and Selina Abdullah, who are in fact here on a historic occasion because what we have today is in fact four chairs of committees who are women. And it's the first time in the history of uh, ITU, in the history of the plenipotentiary conferences, that we have four chairs representing here uh, uh, by, the, by women. So I'd like to uh, honour that occasion by uh, talking to you and by starting off by asking you, Samira, what does that mean to you? Uh, that's mean to me. It's, I am very proud to be a chair in uh, the highest policy body of the ITU, and I would like. I'm very. Uh, I would like to thank the Arab uh, region that they elect me to represent them as a chair for this committee. Uh, also, I want to thank uh, the Secretary General and all her delegation that they accept my name as a chair for committee two. And I hope I be helpful and uh, powerful. Great, thank you. And uh, Selina, perhaps uh, we could get your impressions on this. You know, Max, it's, um, I've been in this for almost 20 years and I never would have imagined that I would be chairing a committee at the PP in this time frame. It means a lot to me personally and it means a lot to the Asia-Pacific region that we have a woman candidate for a substantive committee. Uh, it's difficult for us and um, whatever committee that you're chairing at the PP, it's always going to be difficult. It's not an easy task. And for me, you might say it might be the highlight of my career. I'm from a developing country. And uh, for that reason alone, I think it means a lot on all counts. Thank you. Samira, you have uh, risen to a high position in a, an environment which is uh, primarily dominated by men. And I just really wanted to find out, were there any particular challenges for you in reaching this position? An opposite, it was, uh, I have a support from my country department to participate in all uh, events of the ITU. So I'm, I'm working pro for a long time representing my uh, country in all the events of the ITU since uh, 1994, uh, from PP 1944. Until now I go through maybe four uh, SG, Secretary of the ITU, Mr. Pikatariani election, Mr. Tsumi, then Mr. Hamdun Ture, and now Mr. Zahao. So uh, I think it is not a challenge for me to, the opposite. It was very uh, support from my country for that. Great. Thank you. Now, Selena, we have more women than men at this conference, uh, chairing decision making uh, in committees. Do you think that that could have an impact on uh, our digital future? I think it all goes very well for the future. And it certainly shows and it displays what um, the ITU has been working towards. ITU has been championing uh, women and girls in ICT. And I think this is the perfect example of showing everyone that it can be done. If it's um, a flavor of the future, probably we'll have to see a 50-50 between Maybe this PP, there are four ladies. At the next PP, there will be four men. But certainly, I think this is the tipping point. And from here on onwards, I do expect that there will be more women. Thank you. Samira, I mean, an aspect of uh, the, um, the, the fact gender balance and, and, and gender mainstreaming is encouraging more women in adopting and taking uh, on careers in technology and adopting ideas that that, that is a, a career path that they should choose. How do you think we could encourage more women to take up careers in technology? Uh, we should instruct the member states to let the ladies work in the ICT fields and uh, communication and also to let them have a training course in the ICT in ICT and communications uh, issues so they learn more and I think the ladies will be very helpful if they uh, participate fully in the ICT's uh, field. About four in ten delegates at this plenipotentiary conference are women. What do you think could be done to increase the participation of women delegates? Probably everyone would have to make an effort in um, allowing women to hold higher positions internally first or domestically first and from there they would be able to find their way to global conferences. So we're terribly encouraged. I think four out of ten is good and um, hopefully that figure will, will be um, higher at the next PP. 
Great. And uh, a final word from you? For me, I feel that ITU, the Resolution 17 now, this is active. As we see that uh, there is equality between the gender, or maybe we can see the ladies has more position than the men now in this uh, uh, high policy body of uh, the ITU. And Selena? Well, coincidentally, Resolution 70 is being dealt with in my group. And we have a very optimistic stand. We hope that it will actually be the first resolution to be dealt with in uh, the WGPL. So I would like to thank you and uh, thank the ITU for this opportunity. I think it's excellent that I have this opportunity to be with three other strong women. And I look forward to the future. We'll be catching up with uh, uh, the other two chairs uh, later on as well uh, in, uh, in our series of interviews. But thank you for joining us today. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you again in the future too. Thank you.